Hey everyone, I'm Abby and welcome back to One Code Pam channel. And today we are going to learn how to add traits to a specific NFT and how does OpenSea, an NFT marketplace, read or figure out the properties, traits, or attributes that we have added and attached to that specific NFT. Let's dive right in. So just like we did in our NFT minting app video, we will create an ERC721 contract once more using Open Zeppelin Wizard. Here we edit the name, the symbol, and then let's choose Mintable, auto increment IDs, and this time we are going to make use of the URI storage. Okay, now this is ready. I'm going to go to Remix and I will create a new workspace which is going to be black. And I'll name my workspace NFT Traits. Click OK and create a new file called nfttraits.sol. All right, now that, let's go back to Open Zeppelin, copy the code and paste it in Remix. Since we are copying and pasting a whole bunch of code here, Remix will give us a warning telling us to make sure that we understand the code that we are pasting. So let's click OK and close these folders. And here we are going to edit a few things because right now our token ID starts at zero instead of one. So let's make sure that our token ID starts at one. So I'm going to edit this one. Underscore token ID counter dot current. And then we will also put that right here. Okay. And after that, here will be the token URI. That's going to be token URI as well in here. And this should be token ID counter dot increment. Okay. Actually, this is a duplicate, so let's remove that. And let's compile our work. Now let's deploy it to our injected provider. But that's not working, so let us refresh that and try again. Don't worry, our work will still be here even if we refresh it. So let's try that again. Compile and then injected provider. So it automatically detected the network that we are in, which is Mumbai. And now we can deploy our smart contract. Now it's pending. It'll ask us to confirm. And then let's wait for that for a bit. And there you go. We have successfully deployed our contract to a test network. So we see that there are a lot of functions here, but right now we're not going to be needing that. And what we will be needing right now is our contract address. So here, let's copy that. And let's go to code sandbox. And in here, I just duplicated the code that we used in our previous video, which is the NFT minting app. If you need a refresher on that, or if you haven't watched it, make sure to check it out. It will be linked in here somewhere, or you can search our channel. So once we open this, it will automatically ask us to connect our MetaMask because that's what our code does. So let's connect that and copy our contract address just to make sure. Close this for now and let's look for the address and copy it right here. Then for our ABI, let's pull that up from Remix in the Solidity Compiler tab. Down here, click ABI to copy our ABI. And here in Code Sandbox, we will paste it right here. So if we open that, Nothing new happens since 
you can only change the contract address in the ABI. The code is very similar with the previous one, but you can edit this like here we have the only owner. You can eliminate that, but our focus for this video is adding NFT traits, so we are not going to change anything else in the code right now. And in here, we are accepting two parameters, which is two, the address where we want to send this, and the other one is the token URI, which is basically giving us the token URI for that specific NFT. If you remember, the metadata extension in ERC721 is optional, but this is the schema for that metadata. It requires a name, description, and image. Now, what we need to do is to create a JSON API endpoint. So let's go to this site, endpoint.io, and create JSON bin. Let's edit this. So we will put the name, description, and image, just like what we saw in the schema. Okay, so edit this, delete this one, name, description. So let's make this, this is our OCC, one code cam NFT. And then the image. So for the image, we are going to be using an AI image generator. So for that, let's go to Starry AI. And we will be needing a login for this. So if you don't have an account yet, you can sign up and play my credits. Then I'll proceed to create my image. We can make use of the prompt builder right here. And I'm going to choose storybook illustration and low poly. And then I'm going to add coding cam. Let's wait for that. And there you go. Here are the images that we have generated. Now we can download it. And off cam, I've extracted that zip file. And in here, I copied that image that I like and rename it as 1.png. And we put that inside a folder. So next, let's head on to Pinata, which is an IPFS storage. And here we are going to store our image folder so that we can get the CID later on. First, let's sign in or sign up if you don't have an account yet. I'll blur my login details here. And then inside of here, let's click Add Files. Then Folder. Let's look for the folder that contains our image. And here, I named it OCC NFT. Let's choose this one and click Upload. Upload again. And you can name this anything you want, but I will name mine image NFT. Then upload. Let's wait for that. And now we have this content identifier or CID. Now we will be needing this, but first I'm going to copy and paste a URI on my notepad. Then copy this CID from Pinata. Edit this URI with my new CID. Then I'm going to copy this. And this will be the one that we need to put into our metadata image field. Replace everything with that new URI and hit on save. Now, our API endpoint is now available right here at the bottom. Now we can open that, check and copy that. And I'm going to paste that here on my notepad to keep it handy. Back in our sandbox, we can call our save method here in our console. So if you remember, savement takes in two parameters. So contract.methods.savement. The first parameter is two for the address to where we want to send this. So I'm going to say here account because the connected account is my account and that's where I want to send it. The second parameter is the token URI, which is the one that we copied in our notepad and then send from account. Then we hit enter. Now MetaMask will pop up asking us to confirm this transaction. Now it has been successfully minted. Now if we check on OpenSea, this is my account. I will just refresh it. 
now it has successfully showed up in my account. Click this and check. So you can see that this item has no trace. We have here the name, the description. Here's the item activity. We made it a few seconds ago. So for the traits, OpenSea has a documentation on how to show attributes, traits, and so on. So here, we will also be able to see an external URL. Let's try adding this one. So let's copy that and try adding our YouTube link to this NFT. Okay, so I'm going to edit this one and hit save. Let's check our API endpoint. And now it has also changed. Cool, let's check this now and open C. Let's refresh everything because it will take quite a while before the changes reflect here. And let's check the other buttons here while waiting for the changes to reflect. And now if we click the view website button, let's look for that. It redirects us to the website that we have specified in our metadata. Now we can see how OpenSea figures out what metadata is related to that specific NFT. And if our endpoint is editable, the NFT can be changed as well by the person who created that endpoint. We are now ready to explore other things and edit it in our metadata. There are a bunch of other keys for the metadata that are in the OpenSea documentation. But now we are going to focus on attributes. So this is an example of how the attributes will show up in OpenSea. So the attributes is an array of objects. And then the objects has key value pairs. Key is the trait type and value is base. And you can put as many attributes as you like, like the one in this example right here. So it will show up like this. If we put it correctly, In our metadata, let's just put one for now. So let's edit this one, put in attributes, and then code count. Oh, actually this should be an array of objects. Let's put in square brackets and then curly braces inside of that is the trait type. Let's put in trait type. Okay, let's put in badge as an example for now. Then let's do for the value code camp essentials. Okay, essentials. Let's save that. Check that in our OpenSea. And again, it will take quite a while before it reflects here. So let's keep refreshing the page and the metadata. All right, and wait for that. Yeah, let's refresh again. And there you go. It showed up right here. Now, if we check the details down here, it was last updated 38 seconds ago. And okay, let's add a few more in there. So let's go back to the documentation. Let's check other things. So here we have the numeric traits, date traits, you can put the birthday and a bunch of other things. All right. Also have a display type. So 
for example, we put a boost number for the display type. It will show up like this. That's for the boost number and boost percentage. And we also have rankings here. And this one is play type for number. So going back to our NFT, we have added our trait right here. So let's add a few more to experiment on that. Okay. So let's go back to our metadata. And let's add a display type of date. So let's do that. Another object. Play type. And this will be date. Okay. And tree type is birthday. And then the value is in Unix timestamp. Okay, so I'm just adding Unix timestamp right here. And then let's add another one here. And it will be tree type of price. So tree type. Price. And then I'll add a random number here for the price. Save that. And actually, this should be underscores instead of hyphens. So let's edit this one. Let's also edit the value of the birthday. All right, and save it. Go back here and check that it already reflected there. And again, let us wait and refresh this page and wait for the changes to reflect. Again, refresh metadata. Check back in a minute. Okay. Refresh that again. And let's see. There you go. We already see that it has levels, the price, birthday. All right. And it is last updated 20 seconds ago. This is our treat. And there you have it. We can now see that our changes were reflected from our metadata to our NFT in OpenSea. Now you can explore more on these treats, create your own NFT, and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks, guys.